Hello, this video will explain how to get your DiEM32 gauge connected to your iOS device's personal hotspot. Make sure that your iOS device and your cellular plan allow you to create a Wi-Fi personal hotspot. We will start with the iOS device. Open up the Settings app. Select the Cellular Data submenu. Make sure your cellular data is enabled by having the cellular data switch set to on. If it's off, set it to on. Have the general submenu selected in the left column. Find the About option and select it. Select the Name option at the top of the menu. Make sure the iPad name is simple, containing only letters and numbers. Do not use any spaces, commas, or any other punctuation. By default, Apple inserts an apostrophe in the name. Make sure you don't have that. After you have made a name with the following conventions, take note of it for we will need it for later. Now, in the left column, select the personal hotspot menu. Turn the personal hotspot to on. This will deactivate your current Wi-Fi connection. Select the Wi-Fi password option. Your password should follow the same conventions as for the name of the iPad. Have the name consist of only numbers and letters. No spaces, punctuation, or special characters are allowed. Do not leave it blank either, since other people could connect to your personal hotspot and charge your data plan. Once you have created a password that follows the conventions stated, be sure to take note of it as well. We will need the password for later. Now we will get to configuring the DM32 gauge. You will need to have installed Retrotech's DM32 configurator software onto a Windows PC. You can download the software from the product page of the DM32 gauge at Retrotech.com. This software will let us set which network we want our DM32 gauge to connect to. Using a USB cable, connect the DM32 gauge to the PC. Launch the DM32 configurator application. Once the window has opened, you should find your gauge's serial number listed in the column on the left. Select your gauge by pressing on its serial number, or if only one gauge is plugged in, then that gauge will be automatically selected. After that, select the network tab at the bottom. Change the network status to Wi-Fi join from the list. Now take the name of the iOS device's personal hotspot that we created and enter that into the network name or SSID text box. The name of the personal hotspot is also the name of the iOS device. Check the checkbox to have the gauge connect to the secure network. Using the password that was made for the personal hotspot, enter it into the password text box. After you have entered the name and password of the network and check the secure network checkbox, Press the Save to Gauge button. Once the saving has completed, you may disconnect your gauge from the PC. To make sure that your gauge will connect correctly to the hotspot network, it is recommended to restart your gauge after you have updated or saved a new network setup to the DiEM32 gauge. Turn on your gauge and it should successfully connect to the personal hotspot. This setup is great for instantly uploading your tests to the cloud without having to wait to upload them later at a testing location. This way, your tests are viewable right away from the rCloud's website app.